So what happens if I only allow myself to draft NXT like talent? Well, let's find out. What's up Nation, Noah Nation Gaming here back again and today we're going to be doing a WWE 2K22 My GM Draft for NXT. This is going to be a new series we're starting here on the Noah Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Can we take NXT to the top of the WWE once again? I believe it is possible, but let's find out. Let's get in to this draft. All right, here we are in WWE 2K22, my GM. So we're doing an NXT draft. I mean, we obviously have to be William Regal here. I mean, it just makes sense. So William Regal, go ahead and book it. Plus, we also received the Legend Whisperer cards. We'll be able to sign a Legend free for the first week. But I don't know if we're going to use it because I want a very NXT-like roster for what we're doing here. But hey, it is a good perk. Choose a brand. Like I said, we're not being SmackDown. We're not being Raw. We are being NXT. And NXT has the power card. For a fighting champion, which is title matches booked for this week, will receive a large match rating boost. So that's awesome. So we will be doing NXT. How will we do our opponent? I mean, I feel like we should do NXT UK. NXT versus NXT UK. I feel like we should do that. Uh, so we're going to do NXT UK. But who should be in charge? We have the McMahons. We have Shane. We have Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville. Or we can do a custom, but we're not going to do a custom here. Who should be in charge of NXT UK? Let's put a... I'm going to be William Regal. Let's go ahead and put Adam Pierce in charge of NXT UK. We'll do 25 weeks, normal difficulty, and uh, I think that's what we'll do. So let's go ahead and let's get in to this draft. All right, so we already know the draft rules, but in case you don't, we got a budget. We're going back and forth, eight rounds, and then after that, you can opt out if you want, and you can get some tips if you need them. I don't need any tips. Let's get into this, guys. All right, here we go. The draft. We are picking first for NXT. So... What do we mean when we mean an NXT roster? Well, that means I'm not going to be drafting John Cena. I'm not going to be drafting Edge. I'm not going to be drafting, you know, I'm honestly not going to draft Seth Rollins. You know, when I think of Seth Rollins, sure, he was an NXT champion and I stint in NXT, but I don't think NXT. When I think NXT, uh, I'm thinking Finn Balor. I'm thinking maybe Kevin Owens, you know, Karrion Cross, honestly. Walter, those are some big names right there. Uh, who else we got in here? Obviously, I can't pick everybody right now. People will go into the free agency and stuff like that. We'll pick up some names there as well. Keith Lee would be a great option. Uh, who else we got? Kaylee Ray would be great for the division, uh, or the women's division, excuse me. Kushida, Timothy Thatcher. So those kind of names, that's the names we're going to be building for our roster here to try to bring NXT to the top. And NXT UK, obviously, I'm sure we'll be picking some big names, and uh, we'll see how that plays out. Tyler Bate and Trent Seven, two guys I would love to have a part of my roster as well. But we're going to start things off here. Our first pick will be none other than Finn Balor. Everybody at home, give me a two sweet Shout out to Scott Hall. May he rest in peace. NXT UK chooses John Cena as their first pick. So let's get a woman here as our uh, second pick. Who will be the uh, top woman in our NXT women's division? We got a lot of good names. Obviously, a lot of these names have been a part of NXT during their career. Uh, we won't be picking. I'm going to stay away from the four horse women here. Uh, you know, just because you, you, you always use the, the four horse women. You know, they're always the top picks. I want to get a, a different women's division here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick Rhea Ripley as my first draft pick for the women's division and on the other hand raw or excuse me raw nxt uk picks up mvp so uh interesting decision there i wish the ai booked a little bit more realistically to real life because obviously nobody's gonna pick an mvp in the in the second round but it is what it is all right finn balor was our first pick for the men who is gonna be finn balor's top opposer kevin owens could be good carrying cross or walter i feel like we should get carrying cross or walter I'm going to go ahead and we are going to pick up Karrion Cross as our third pickup for NXT. Finn Balor versus Karrion Cross could be a big matchup. And NXT UK picks up Becky Lynch next up. So we will go ahead to the women as well. Let's go another uh, woman here. We have Rhea Ripley. Who should be her top opposer? Kaylee Ray? Is Tony Storm in here? I don't think she's in this draft pool as of right now. Oh, no, she is. You know what? We're going to go ahead and pick up Tony Storm as our next pick. Uh, so we got Finn versus Karrion Cross, Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley. Off the bat, two awesome championship matches we can be booking here uh, on NXT. So next up, I think we're going to go ahead and pick up Walter. I mean, Finn, Walter, Cross. I mean, that's a top three if I ever saw one. NXT UK picks up Shayna Baszler. That could have been a good pick for me. That could have been a good pick for me. All right, let's scroll down here a little bit in the men. See what we got. We got Keith Lee. We got Kushida, Timothy Thatcher. Who else? We got Roderick Strong. Uh, we can get Marcel Barthel, team him up with Walter, Ky Kyle O'Reilly. I feel like we should get Kyle O'Reilly. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Kyle O'Reilly for NXT. I think it's a good name, fits our roster obviously well. And NXT UK picks up Dakota Kai. Okay, 
Let's go down here a little bit. Raquel Gonzalez. Tegan Knox. We have Tegan Knox or Raquel Gonzalez. Between the two, they have even popularity, but Raquel Gonzalez has more stamina. So we're going to go ahead and draft Gonzalez to our NXT roster. NXT UK, who do they pick up? They pick up Randy Orton. That is a big pickup. All right, so we have uh, three women so far, five men. Uh, let's go ahead and let's check out the overall draft pool right now. Let's see who's available. Some top names, uh, but names we're going to stay away from because we want a good NXT-like roster. Keith Lee I'm looking at. Kaylee Ray I'm looking at. Uh, and then we're starting to get into some of these uh, other names here, like Roger Strong and, uh, you know, Marcel Barthel. Wouldn't mind getting Liv Morgan, but she's really not NXT to me, so I'm not going to do that. Chad Gable would be a good one. Not that he's very NXT these days, obviously. You know, he's you know carved his own niche on the main roster. But, you know, it could be a good name in there, but I'll probably stay away. Raul Mendoza might be nice. Tegan Knox, who we were just talking about. Ah, uh, we got all of Lucha House Party in here as well. You know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up... Tyler Bate for my roster. I wouldn't mind picking up Pete Dunne in free agency. Tyler Bate versus Pete Dunne could be great. NXT UK picks up Eric. That is one thing that I've noticed. The, uh, the they love the, the AI loves picking up Eric at or Ivar. They love the Viking Raiders. I, I don't know why, but anyway, I mean I'm not knocking them, but it's just random. They always pick the Viking Raiders anytime I run through one of these drafts. All right, so we are in round number nine, so we could back out here, but I got my eye on a couple more names. So we're gonna keep drafting, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Tegan Knox. For my women's division here, NXT UK picks up Cedric Alexander. All right, good pick. So, so far, if you look over on the right, our roster goes like Finn Balor, Walter, Ripley, Cross, O'Reilly, Storm, Gonzalez, Tegan Knox, and Tyler Bate. We have an awesome roster thus far. Uh, what do we have? Uh, five, six men uh, right now, five men. So, let's go ahead and pick up one more uh, for now, and then we'll see who's in free agency that first week. Thinking about Keith Lee, I'm thinking about Roderick Strong as my top two right now. Could pick up Trend Seven, but you know, go with Tyler Bate. But eh, maybe later, maybe later. I think I'm going to go ahead. I think Keith Lee will be a huge name for us. So let's go ahead and let's scroll back up here. There he is, Keith Lee. We're going to go ahead and draft Limitless Keith Lee himself. Bring him to NXT. NXT UK actually drafts Ivar, so now they have both the Viking Raiders. So I think what are we? Uh, we're at ten picks now. We should probably, let's look at the women's division one more time. Maybe draft one more woman. Uh, Shotzi, maybe. O only Reckoning's in here. I'd rather have Mia Yim, Kaylee Ray. You know, I think I'm just going to back out. I think I like I think I like my roster right now. I'm going to see who's in free agency. Maybe sign a couple names there. We do have that Legends card, but eh, not really feeling any Legends with what I'm trying to do here for the NXT roster. So we're going to go ahead and back out, and we will check out free agency. Well, I mean, before we do so, take a look at the NXT roster. We got William Regal managing the ship. We got Finn, O'Reilly, Cross, Walter, Ripley, Gonzalez, Storm, and Tyler Bate. NXT is looking freaking awesome. All right, NXT UK is picking up a couple more names. They got Natalia. They got Marcel Barthel. Who else are they going to pick up? They picked up Otis. They're really just raking in some of these lower names here. They got Trent Seven, all right? And that is where they end up. So that is the NXT UK roster there. As good as the NXT roster. I mean, they got some big names, obviously. Cena, Orton, Edge, uh, Becky Lynch, obviously managing their ship over there for NXT UK. But let's go ahead and back out of this here. Here's uh, how the draft went and all that good stuff. All right, let's get out of this and let's check out. Now we will check out free agency. All right, we got Triple H making sure we're going to be taking care of his baby. Right, you already know Triple H. And Adam Pierce over here getting in my DMs, like trying to intimidate me. Who do you think you are? Said Regal, I just want to let you know that I plan on taking NXT UK to the top. Get out of here. NXT, the OG NXT. We're going to the top no matter what Adam Pierce says. Okay, one more thing before free agency. I keep forgetting about this stuff. We got to set our champions, and we will. So we got to set our NXT champion as well as our women's champion. So our women's champion, I think we're going to... And plus whoever I give the title to gets a boost in popularity. So uh, everybody's even here. Rhea Ripley's our most popular. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it to Tony Storm will be our first NXT Women's Champion. As for the NXT Men's Champion, I think I'll start at the top, and I think I'll give it to our number one draft pick, Finn Balor. So Finn and Tony Storm will be on top of NXT as our champions. All right, finally, let's check out free agency here. Uh, obviously, this changes every week who's going to be in free agency, who isn't in free agency. So uh, it doesn't mean we have to make a draft pick right now, or make a pickup, I should say, but always good to check it out. So we got Bianca, Bliss, Kofi, 
Um, some names that weren't in the draft, Angel Garza, Mia Yim. I'm, I'm liking Mia Yim. I'm even liking Angel Garza. Uh, maybe even Tyler Breeze. That'd be a nice pickup. Uh, Tyler Breeze's best work in WWE was, of course, in NXT. Uh, do we... Am I thinking about Tyler Breeze? I don't know. I think... I think I'll pass for, right, for this week. We do have a Legends card we can use. But, uh, like I said, I really want to keep this an NXT-like roster. So, I'm, I might not be using that Legends card. Maybe, like, if Beth Phoenix shows up. I know she will eventually in the NXT, or excuse me, in the Legends Free Agency. We'll pick her up since she was involved with NXT for a while as the commentator. Maybe we can pull that string and, you know, bring Beth Phoenix in. But I don't want to bring in The Rock or Taker or anybody like that because I want to be, uh, have this be an NXT-like roster. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on these Legends, and I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass on Free Agency for now. So uh, we'll go ahead and book our first show. All right, so let's utilize this uh, Fighting Champion Power card this week. We will be booking some title matches. Since it is the first show, we want to start off hot. So let's confirm that. We will keep that Legends uh, Whisper card in our back pocket. Let's go ahead and check out what the uh, Commissioner goal is, excuse me, this week. And it is a schedule a run-in, so we can definitely do that. We are obviously even here. And uh, let's go ahead and let's start this show off, man. So let's book the NXT title on the line in the main event, Finn Balor. And who do we want to be Finn Balor's opposer? So Finn Balor is actually currently a heel. So let's go with one of these baby faces. Keith Lee, Kyle O'Reilly, or Tyler Bate. I feel like we got to go with Limitless Keith Lee. I think that'll be a good one. Title matches on. And uh, Commissioner wants a run in this week. Should this be the match or should we keep the main event clean? I think we'll keep the main event clean. Let's go ahead and book a run in on a woman's title match. We'll go Tony Storm, who's a baby face, versus... Let's go. Let's go Raquel Gonzalez. Put the title on the line and we'll do Interference... Tegan knocks on Tony Storm. So maybe Tony Storm drops the title. Raquel Gonzalez becomes the uh, new champion. That remains to be seen, but we'll, get, we'll meet that commissioner goal, so we'll get that power card. All right, let's book our opener here. Do I have... I do have enough for a tag team matchup, so we'll just do a tag team matchup for the hell of it here. Walter and Cross versus Tyler Bate and Kyle O'Reilly, just to get them on the show. And then we do have a promo uh, with our last superstar that we have uh, yet to use. That will be Rhea Ripley. So that'll be the first NXT show. Double title matches. We're going to meet our commissioner goal. Uh, pretty much everybody everybody is working the show. We got Tegan Knox doing a run-in, so that works. And then obviously everything logistic-wise is going to be the basics for this week because we have to unlock stuff, now we have to buy stuff. So that's all going to be pretty basic. But here's the card. Let's go ahead and confirm, and let's get into week one of NXT, my GM. Alrighty, here we go with the first week. We got Karrion Cross and Walter versus Kyle O'Reilly and Tyler Bate. Let's go ahead and simulate this first matchup, and it is going to be... The baby faces getting the win. Tyler Bate and Kyle O'Reilly. Mediocre matchup, but, you know, it's the first week. Not much is going to be, you know, too high in the ratings because we got to get rivalries going and stuff like that. So, Bate and O'Reilly with the win. we got a Rhea Ripley promo here, which ups her popularity uh, by two, so you'll love to see it. Uh, we can only simulate this matchup between Tony Storm and Raquel Gonzalez because of the running from Tegan Knox. but the women's title is on the line. Who is it going to be? Will Tony Storm outlast Tegan Knox? But no, she will not. Raquel Gonzalez wins the championship. Holy crap. Four and a half star matchup. But we also did use that power card. So that aids assistance as well. So we start a rivalry between Tegan Knox and Tony Storm. Raquel Gonzalez wins the women's title. And we got a four and a half star matchup on our first week. That is how you do it here on NXT. Moving on. Wait, continue. There you go. Moving on. We have the main event. Finn Balor. Keith Lee. For the NXT Championship, we'll go ahead and we will play this matchup. And we'll see who walks out the NXT Champion. Alright, here we go. We are inside this basketball gym in Montreal, Canada. And the NXT title is on line. We're going to play as the NXT Champion, Finn Balor. So we're going to try to retain the title here over Keith Lee. If we lose, oh well, I really don't care who's the champion. I just want good ratings. But why not? Let's play a match and let's have some fun. Here comes Limitless Keith Lee on his way to the ring. All right, and here we go. The NXT champion. This just looks hilarious just in this in this gym. But here we go. Finn Balor, the guy I'm going to play as on the way to the ring. Uh, hopefully, we can have a good matchup here. There's there's smoke coming up from the gymnasium floor. Usually, you know, when I was in high school, uh, they taught us if smoke's coming up from the, the basketball floor, get the hell out of the building. But I guess things work different here in, in my GM. I, I'm just I'm just going with what we're, what we're working with here. Finn Balor, NXT Champion. That title looks awesome around Finn Balor's waist in this game. 
This is gonna be good. Finn, you don't got the lights here, dude. We're in a basketball gym. It, it don't work like that, brother. But anyway, let's get to the matchup. <laughs> Alright, I'll take myself off the screen so you guys can see the screen a little more. NXT titles on the line. Finn Balor, Keith Lee. We're not sticking around for the introductions. Let's get to this matchup. Love that Keith Lee is not wearing uh, his Bearcat uniform or anything like that. And uh, they just put him in his NXT gear. Fits with what we're doing here in this uh, basketball gym for NXT. But Finn and Keith Lee, do they ever have... A one-on-one -on -one matchup in WWE, I'm honestly not sure. Somebody let me know in the comments section below, but here we go here. I really don't care if I lose this matchup. I'm not going to try super hard. I, I don't even know. I don't know if this is on uh, normal difficulty because that's what we put the MyGM AI on or if this plays on hard difficulty, which is uh, what I have my game on, but I don't know. Well, we'll that remains to be seen. If we lose, we lose. If we win, cool, but Keith Lee is uh, beating us up right now, so Keith Lee is definitely on the way to winning an NXT championship, so... Can hate. Oh my god, just throws us across the ring. Alright, come on. I still want to be competitive here. But, you know, that's all me. I should probably hit the reversals. Let me not get tapped out this early on. Let's not do that. Okay. Good sweep of the legs there. Oh, Finn. Oh, you love to see it. What a move. What a move. Alright. Alright. Get some offense. Oh my god, Keith Lee, what a monster. Just caught me in midair and just steps over me like I'm last week's garbage. This match is great. We're not going to play matches every single week on my GM. Probably next episode is going to be more simulation, but every once in a while we'll play a match. You know, we did the draft on this episode, so you know, why not throw a match in here? But we're about to lose the title there. Okay, here we go. Keith Lee is beating the hell out of us, but you know, every maybe every other episode of my GM that we do. We'll play a match. You guys let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. You want to see us play more matches? You want to see us do more simulation? Let me know down below in the comments. It's Keith Lee is... Wi oh my god, Finn Balor has insane strength. Just call Keith Lee. Alright. Oh my god, he countered. Jesus, Keith Lee is absolutely destroying us. Let's really pay a little bit more attention here. Alright, we got a reversal. We got a reversal. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright. Oh my god, Keith Lee is countering everything, dude. This guy's a beast. Alright, he's going up to the top. But we are still standing. Oh, oh my god, this is ridiculous. This match is still going to get like a four and a half star watch. Oh my god, he's countering everything. This guy's a reversal machine. Oh, nice, we got a reversal. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. I think we got a comeback here. Is that what I saw for a split second? Can we use that? Oh, we do have a comeback. Nice. Nice forearm. Swing blade. Good stuff there, alright. Just casually turn my phone off. Nice shot. Not the time for a call. Alright, Keith Lee. We got distracted there. Power bomb. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Finn. You're you're better than this. You're better than this. Counter, there you go, there's a nice reversal. Boom! That is how you do it. Alright, come on, I just, I know we had a finisher or a signature or something. There we go, signature. What is this, 1916? Uh, uh. Can we head to the top? Can we head to the top? Little coup de gras? Little coup de gras? Bam. Into the pin. There you go, Keith Lee is stunned. Will we retain the title? It's two... What? What? I thought we won it there. I thought we won it. Oh my goodness, I thought we won it. That is ridiculous. I mean, we really haven't done much offense, so what can you do? Alright, here we go. Let's beat him up a little bit more. Let's go back to the top. Big time Superfly Splash! Will Finn Balor be the new Jimmy Snuka Big Splash? Is that gonna, gonna be enough? No. Come on. Keith is still in it. Keith is still in it. Alright. We are controlling this matchup, man. Well, until then. We outlasted Keith Lee's, you know, flurry in the beginning. He outlasted all our big moves. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Standing Moonsault. This is not good. Alright, there's a counter. There we go. Like I said, I you know I really don't care if I lose this matchup, but the, now the competitor in me wants to win. But for my GM sake, it, it really doesn't matter. If anything, a new champ is probably like, oh my god, better ratings. But I really don't know. All right, 
finisher. Is that the 1916? I really don't know which one's the 1916. You can let me know in the comments. But there you go. We just dropped Keith Lee on his head. Here's a cover. That's the second finisher here. There we go. Still the NXT champion, Finn Balor. Keith Lee, I appreciate the effort, man. You beat me up for a while there. But Finn Balor walking out of our first My GM main event. Still the NXT a champion. All right, there you go. Finn Balor, still the champion. You love to see it. I, I felt like we were about to get a cutscene or something there, like we were playing Universe Mode. Oh, looks great with the NXT title. Looks great. Uh, hopefully we get as good of a rating for this match as we did the women's title match. I mean, I, that, that would be nice, right, for my GM's sake. Let's win week one, man. Oh, what a shot. What a freaking shot. Finn Balor on top. Four-star matchup. I'll take it. I will take it. Finn Balor on top. Hit me with the two. Sweet! All right, let's see how the overall week played out. So Finn Balor, still the NXT champion, four-star matchup. Let's see what NXT UK's got going on. Probably not as good as us. All right, okay. So they are starting off hot. NXT UK title match, Orton versus Cena. Um, and then they got Otis and Trent Seven in a TLC match, as well as uh, tag team Marcel Barthel and Cedric Alexander versus Edge and Eric. Okay, so we'll go ahead and simulate their show just to see how uh, that works out. I know we can usually do the fast simulation. Let's just see what happens here so they got a good uh three star match and so they definitely beat us in the opener so we know that uh there's no way they're beating us in the second matchup no way at all no way yeah we killed them in the second matchup on the car let's see if we can beat them in the main in the main event main event main event definitely got to do it we got a four star main event they got this come on and won the main event all right so we definitely won week one for NXT, you love to see it. The championship matches with the power card on top of that definitely helped. So use those power cards, guys, and definitely do the commissioner goals uh, to get more power cards because those will definitely help you out there. Look at that. We exceeded expectations in the opening matchup. Good stuff there. We started some rivalries. Really no complaints. And here's how uh, NXT UK, on the other hand, did. But they won the opener, but we beat them in the mid card and the main event. Good stuff there. So here's all the, the viewership, revenue, show notes, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, we could sit here and read these, but we made profits. We got more fans. That's all that matters for me. Our ranking is number one. Plus, Commissioner Gold meant so we got the, uh, Veto Star Power Card, which I think that, you know, vetoes us. Uh, we can use that to veto somebody on NXT UK from competing in, like, next week's show, whether it's their most popular star or a champion, I forget, but something like that along those lines. But, uh, yeah, we definitely won week one here. So, all NXT UK's, uh information and there you go nxt on top week one william regal finn raquel gonzalez front in our show randy orton and becky lynch uh front in nxt uk show but we definitely won week one you love to freaking see it triple h make sure you're matching superstars who pair well against each other uh lee and balor was a bit of a mismatch well uh, i hear you but it still did four stars triple h so can't can't really hate can't really hate uh, there's a bunch of other gibberish but we don't even have to respond tony storm i'm not happy losing my championship last week as a former champion i'm enacting my rematch clause i won a championship rematch against raquel nobody else better get a title shot before me seems reasonable tony storm absolutely we'll give you a rematch on the next episode no problem at all let's go ahead before we get out of here and check the free agency see if we want to pick up anybody not i mean candice LeRae might be actually a good addition that's actually a perfect addition for our, our women's division. Let's go ahead and pick up Candice LeRae. 10 weeks, 67,000. I think that is fair. So let's sign Candice LeRae to NXT. Confirm that. Let's go ahead and see if there's any legends. Um, I really don't even know why I'm checking the legend. You know, X-Pac would be somebody different to add to the thing. But we're not doing legends. Uh, we just picked up Candice LeRae, so that's good. So I think our roster is looking pretty good right now, man. I definitely want to add another man uh, to the roster. Uh, and definitely another woman too, but I want to add the right people. Like I said, NXT like people. I really want to, I'm waiting for Pete Dunne to show up uh, in the free agency. I want to sign him. As for the women, not sure off the top of my head who would be next to sign. I just got to wait to see when they show up, show up Excuse me, in the free agency and we'll go from there. But anyways, guys, I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel if you want to see more WWE 2K22 NXT My GM. Let me know down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll do a couple of weeks in the next video, and then you know maybe we'll play another match or we'll just do all simulation. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Who 
losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe